Chapter 8 Interventions to Reduce Aging We are not victims of aging, sickness, and death. These are part of the scenery, not the seer, who is immune to any form of change. The seer is the spirit, the expression of eternal being. Deepak Chopra Longevity must begin in early life, including taking care of your immune system, relieving stress and anxiety, and nourishing a healthy brain. Terry Moffat, university professor of psychology at Duke University, suggests that preventative interventions that aim to slow aging and extend health span must begin earlier in life because people who have early onset mental disorders tend to be the same people who have multi-morbid physical diseases in later life. She says improved mental health care might have a great opportunity to prevent the rising burden of age-related diseases. Your immune system protects you. It detects germs that could make you sick and attacks them with antibodies. In autoimmune diseases, your immune system attacks a part of your body by mistake. In rheumatoid arthritis, the immune system attacks the joints. In inflammatory bowel disease, the immune system attacks the gastrointestinal tract. In autoimmune encephalitis, AE, the immune system attacks the brain. Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, autism, schizophrenia, and many other neurological and psychiatric conditions have been linked to inflammation in the brain. There's growing evidence that immune cells and molecules play a key role in normal brain development and function as well. Stress can be normal, especially since it is already part of our daily lives. When you experience stress, a part of your brain, specifically the hypothalamus, reacts, allowing the release of stress hormones. Stress hormones are the same hormones that make you sense the fight or flight response of your body. When you are threatened, stress, or have an intense emotion, you will feel that your heart is beating fast as your heart rate increases. Your breath also becomes faster. Your muscles shake, and for some, it leads to uncontrollable shedding of tears. Chronic stress can affect your body, both in terms of your physical health and mental health. If left untreated or unmanaged, it may result in consistent irritability, anxiety disorder, depression, or major depressive disorder, insomnia, headache, back pain, shoulder pain, diarrhea, constipation, stomach ache, and nausea and vomiting. For some, stress is diverted to overeating, substance abuse, including drugs, cedars, and alcohol, as well as social withdrawal. It can even lead to certain illnesses and serious health conditions like high blood sugar, stroke, heart attack, type 2 diabetes, heartburn or acid reflux, erectile dysfunction for males, and irregular, heavier, and more painful menstruation for females. Too much stress can result in chronic anxiety and depression, yet it does not mean that we cannot control them anymore. Of course, stress can be normal or destructive. As a certified Chopra health instructor, I recommend the following ways to release stress. 1. Eating healthy. Eating green goods and avoiding processed junk foods. To relieve stress and anxiety, be active during the day for a healthy sleep night. 2. Healthy sleeping is essential to functioning well during the day. Sleep restores your brain by repairing and reorganizing your memory and learning. The best way to sleep is to make your room completely dark and switch off your TV or computer a couple of hours before as they interfere with the secretion of sleep hormones. 3. One of the best ways to relieve stress and anxiety is by breathing deeply. Inhale deeply for four counts, hold it in for a moment, and then exhale for six counts. This exercise, also known as box breathing, is helpful for diffusing stress and feeling centered in your body. 4. Be grateful. Think about two or three things that you're grateful for. This may include your family, pets, freedom, music, coffee, and creativity. Anything works if it matters to you. Being grateful will expand your heart and fuel you with energy. As Tony Robbins says, you can't be grateful and fearful at the same time. Gratitude is a powerful anecdote for fear, anxiety, and stress. Five. 
Make time to relax every day. It is important to have a relaxation routine that can help you wind down and be mellow. Some good ways to wind down include watching comedy shows, running, walking, doing yoga, and taking a relaxing bath. My favorite relaxation activities include listening to my favorite music and enjoying a one-hour body massage using lavender oil. 6. Talking and laughing with family and friends opens your heart and nurtures your spirit. It strengthens your mind and prepares you to take on life with full confidence. When you know your friends and family have got your back, it makes you happy and resilient. 7. Dr. Deepak Chopra recommends walking barefoot on the natural surfaces of Earth. The Earth has healing energy within itself, and when you touch your feet on its surface, you can access it. What is the human spirit? The human spirit is the incorporeal part of man. The Bible says that the human spirit is the breath of Almighty God and was breathed into man at the beginning of God's creation. It is the human spirit that gives us a consciousness of self and other remarkable, though limited, God-like qualities. The human spirit includes our intellect, emotions, fears, passions, and creativity. It is this spirit that provides us the unique ability to comprehend, understand, and empathize with others. Can prayer and meditation reduce aging and extend your life? Scientific evidence suggests regular meditation can improve psychological conditions, like anxiety and depression, which can affect mortality in turn. Meditation has been proven to bolster the immune system and reduce levels of cortisol, known as the stress hormone. Elevated levels of cortisol are linked to higher mortality through heart-related conditions, such as atherosclerosis and metabolic syndrome. A review of two randomized controlled trials was published in the American Journal of Cardiology and were aimed at examining the effects of meditation specifically on mortality. The first group included participants with mild hypertension, high blood pressure, who lived in an elderly residence with an average age of 81 years. The second group included community-dwelling older adults with an average age of 67 years. Participants were split into groups and given instructions in either transcendental meditation, mindfulness meditation, mental relaxation, or progressive muscle relaxation techniques. The control group participants were offered general health education classes. Transcendental meditation is described as a simple technique that involves sitting comfortably with the eyes closed for 15 to 20 minutes per session, twice a day, to achieve a state of restful alertness. Mindfulness meditation training focuses on breathing and observing thoughts dispassionately as they arise in the mind. Study subjects using mental relaxation techniques were encouraged to repeat a phrase or verse to themselves during each session. Finally, subjects using progressive muscle relaxation were coached to gradually let go of tension in each major muscle group to promote an overall state of calm. Participants were evaluated after three months. The transcendental meditation groups from both trials reported significantly lower blood pressure than the other meditation and control groups, but it's the long-term data that is most fascinating. The researchers followed up on the original trials to determine the vital status of the participants, which was obtained from the National Death Index maintained by the National Center for Health Statistics. Of the 202 subjects in the original two clinical trials, 101 had died on follow-up. These mortalities were coded based on the International Classification of Diseases, ICD-9, to determine the cause of death. The result revealed that after an average of 7.6 years, up to a maximum of almost 19 years, the subjects practicing transcendental meditation were 23% less likely to die of any cause during that period and 30% less likely to die of cardiovascular disease during the same period. Subjects were also 49% less likely to die of cancer during the follow-up period. The authors of the review, Robert Schneider, MD, Charles Alexander, Frank Staggers, MD, 
Stephen Arndt, Ph.D., Vernon Barnes, Ph.D., and Stanford Nadich, EDH, suggests that the benefits of meditation are almost as good as those resulting from drug therapy for hypertension, without the side effects, though they do not recommend using meditation instead of medication proved to lower high blood pressure. According to the authors, this is the first long-term analysis of the effect of non-drug therapies on the mortality rate for people with elevated blood pressure. Two important questions remain. Will meditation improve longevity for people with normal blood pressure? And which type of relaxation or meditation technique provides the greatest longevity benefit? Though future research might answer these questions with greater certainty, many are happily satisfied with the boosts of energy and well-being that meditation offers in the short term. Get started and try to incorporate a regular meditation practice into your life. In their book, Life Force, Tony Robbins, Peter Diamandis, MD, and Robert Harari, MD, PhD, provide us with a checklist to reduce aging and enjoy health, fitness, and longevity. 1. Hydrate. Drink half your weight in ounces of water per day. Add some fresh lemon and a pinch of Celtic salt to optimize your hydration and electrolyte balance. 2. Eat food closest to their natural source. Avoid processed carbs and low-quality processed meats. 3. Decrease disease risk. Consume at least one serving of vegetables per day, including broccoli, sprouts, cauliflower, or kale. 4. Commit to a structured eating time frame. Consume meals for an 8 to 12 hours and fast for a 12 to 16 hour window each day. 5. Stay consistent with sleep. Go to sleep and wake up about the same time each day. 6. Get strong. Perform three resistance training sessions per week. 7. Strengthen your heart, lungs, and build endurance with three cardiovascular exercise sessions of 20 to 30 minutes each session. 8. Consider the power of using the heat and cold to use positive stressors to lower your blood pressure, reduce inflammation, reduce your risk of Alzheimer's, and cut your risk of cardiovascular disease by 50%. 9. Train your brain with daily breath work and meditation for 5 to 20 minutes per day. In summary, aging is not a disease. Longevity health practices must begin in early life including taking care of your immune system, relieving stress and anxiety, and nourishing a healthy brain.